Mother Teresa did not do anything for the humanity. She was a very big actor and for that purpose he has created a fake account with a fake identity. Going to the extent of saying that people who work for cancer awareness programs are fake, they are simply doing it, pretending, including me because I have been working for such programs. Well, William Shakespeare also said that the world is a very big stage and we all are actors with our exits and entrance. But he also made use of half beasts and clowns and jokers. You know why he did that. Hello everybody, thank you for joining me and welcome to another episode on this channel. As you know, this is the third Q&A conducted on this channel. Uh, I've always shown my gratitude for contributing, for participating in the Q&A sessions and I've selected a couple of them. And as a YouTube community, the YouTube creators share their contact details for various purposes to connect with the audience. We have got different ways of connecting with the audience. You must be knowing about all that. Sensible people will definitely know. And there are a lot of people uh, conducting live sessions, training sessions through YouTube and otherwise offline and online platforms are there. It has been helping. Sincere, genuine ones have been always helping. So you'll get to know about that in a couple of minutes because I've received a lot of emails so I will be choosing a couple of them and giving answers along with the name the place and everything uh, and I will be discussing one more email today to ha add a little bit of humor you will also enjoy listening to this email because it is created and sent from a fake account so I think this will add some spice to it because we need such emails to boost up the energy of all these sessions. Anyway, I've given my response to that email. You'll also get to know that. So I'll be showing the screenshot of this email on the screen. Are you ready? Shall we get started? So let's reserve the best ones towards the end of the session. And I'll begin with this fake account. Okay. So I had posted about this on my community post and three days back I had uh, mentioned about the Q&A session. From that day itself, I've been receiving emails. I've been taking it down here. I'll also show the screenshot of this particular email. Uh, by the name itself, it's very clear that it's a fake account. Periyar Columbus, that is the name of the account. It's okay to have different perceptions because we all have different perceptions. We'll be having our opinions, suggestions, and it's good to tolerate them, especially living in this subcontinent, Indian subcontinent. We all have been taught to coexist and tolerate uh, differences. See, when I say perceptions vary, when I say that opinions and suggestions are going to be different from each other, it doesn't mean that I can go out on the street or anyone can go out on the road and abuse people, spread hatred uh, speech or even attack in some way or the other. I'm talking not talking about the physical attack, but that is not a good way to abuse. And why do we have rules, laws, regulations and discipline? There are a lot of crude people who don't follow all that. But still, to maintain some order in society, we need to follow uh, such things. Now, you must be thinking, why did I choose this email? Because it is sent from a fake account. I've got all the options of uh, ignoring and avoiding it. Because that's what many of the YouTubers do. Uh, do. And I consulted this with uh, several YouTubers and the authorities because we have already found out that this is the main hobby of this particular person, the account holder, the account owner, uh, creating fake IDs and sending emails to different people, trying to destroy uh, their uh, vision and mission. Now, the funniest thing is when I just scan through the email, this is what he has exactly said, that uh, Mother Teresa did not do anything for humanity. He was, she was also a very good actor. So he was trying to say that I'm a very good actor uh, because I'm trying to do a lot of things. Also, you know, most of you know that I have done two episodes on cancer. And in the first one, this particular video, I've spoken about one of my published books. And there I speak about my aunt. Uh, she was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer three, three years back. And uh, we lost her to cancer last year. So I've uh, elaborated on such things. I've elaborated on this uh, myths and stigmas revolving around cancer, the emotional problems that patients face. Because I'll tell you why. In the second video, I have mentioned about one of my family members, my dear one, 
uh, who was diagnosed with cancer and the way we went through this phase and how this person has become an inspiration to many people in the family and around. Since then, I've been working with different cancer uh, awareness programs have been writing about it as an author on acknowledged platforms, you know, about all such things because I've been sharing it on YouTube and other platforms. Now, this person says that everything is fake. I'm a very good actor and things like that. I don't mind that because different perceptions are there. But as I told you in the beginning, there is a way to put forth an email. So I'm not bothered about this individual. Okay, this individual may change. This individual may become a better person or a worse person. That's up to the person. But the attitude, okay? There is something known as toxic positivity. There is something known as positivity and negativity. I'm talking about toxic positivity because one of our subscribers has inquired about it. I'll come to that. So this person is clearly self-obsessed but he creates a fake identity. At the same time, he finds fault with anything and everything around him because that's shown, that's uh, seen very much in most of his emails. So it started with one email and he started sending a series of emails. I responded to a couple of them uh, thinking that there will be something that he wanted to inquire, but I found out that was just nothing. So I got a response to my community post. I had posted this on my community post. I got two, three emails saying, ma'am, please ignore him because this person is dash. I don't want to give the <laughs> exact term used by people. Uh, he goes to the extent of uh, misconstruing the vision and mission of greater personalities on the planet. I'm not saying that everyone should like Mother Teresa. You will have different opinions. But there was a greater vision and mission that she always had. And even if you disagree with her, it's okay. But there's a way to put it instead of telling that she was a bloody actor. She was an actor just like you. Okay, now coming to bits and pieces of this particular email, I'll show the first one. Um, he begins off by saying, by first taking a screenshot of my Q&A post. So I had posted about the Q&A session. I was um, inviting emails uh, saying that this is the particular segment that I'm going to hold, just like how I do it every time. And he says, why do you conduct such sessions? Is it um, for the survey with Indian Statistics Department for Christian Missionaries? Okay, I'm very sure that he doesn't know or have an idea about the functioning of the Indian Statistics Department or about the Christian missionaries. I'm particularly talking about this because he signs off as an ex-Christian. I don't care whether he's an ex-Christian or an ex-believer or any particular religion of faith. That's up to him. It's a person's uh, right. Whatever it is, this person is a fanatic and an eccentric person because the way he has put forth. So that is the first part where he talks about the Christian missionaries and Indian statistics. Then... Um, he also uh, goes to the extent of saying that I am a very big follower of Saddam Hussein, Rahul Gandhi, Jinnah, uh, Hitler and such personalities. Some of the personalities are notoriously famous. Some of them are famous for their objectives and purpose. And some of them have really proved that they're doing something for the people. Whatever it is, you may have your likes and dislikes. That's your right. It's very clear that he has misconstrued things and he has... Uh, drawn things from the air, assuming and presuming things, whatever it is. It's a different individual. Uh, I don't respect the thoughts, but still he has got all the right to express, but there is a way to do it. If it's going to be abusive, what are you supposed to do? You have to hand the person to the authorities. I have done that. And if when we found out that he has got a lot of accounts as these, and this is his hobby, right? Okay, then going to some of the other points. He speaks about self-obsession. He says that people conducting such segments are all self-obsessed. There is no requirement to share the email IDs. I know how a lot of things have been helping different people. People ask for book reviews and book suggestions. Some people ask for gram grammar topics. Many of you have done that. So I just wanted to highlight on this kind of attitude because the best, funniest and the ironical part is that he's so bizarre and cantankerous with his behavior. He speaks about positive 
positivity by spitting negative words and he's so uh, frustrated with life maybe he has got his reasons for that whatever it is there is a way to express yourself i just want to tell you to the people listening to me that you can express yourself there's no po- there's no problem with that you can give both destructive and constructive criticism but there's a way to put it forth there are different purposes for why people are here on youtube or over the in- internet uh, i have a purpose i write for cancer platforms i know what i've been through and uh, i have seen p- uh, my dear one taking chemotherapy treatment in front of me for 7 to 8 hours and so proud of how things went by i've been sharing about it so different people do that and that's their wish nothing is fake and i don't want to prove it by uh, showing the medical reports and things like that but be careful to not uh, throw such words at someone this is only a fake account this is a fake identity there's nothing that i have to lose or gain from this but what i'm trying to tell you is that uh, you may come across such personalities or such funny characters as an individual in human form in front of you not from a fake account uh you will be knowing the name of the person also you may come across such people at different places at workplace or uh in the family wherever it is there's a way to deal it when you deal it you get the positive vibes and that is known as positivity positivity is not dispensing and dismissing the thoughts of others uh not being able to respond to situations all that is connected with toxic positivity okay positivity is when you learn to tackle a situation when you don't stay fallen down when you don't fall down completely forever and when you are not able to rise up in life that's when you're com- you're filled with negativity and that's when you cannot rise up but positivity is when you have a fall and when you're able to rise up with more power right so this is what i have um, analyzed and he calls people uh dabba dibbas he has given a lot of hindi words in the next emails we had fun reading this email as a family and um I'm so happy about one thing that my content has provoked him so much to create a fake account and to send such uh, lines whatever it is please make your use of your language in a better way that's what I want to say when you're jobless you may have a lot of things in your mind and an idle mind is always the devil's workshop right so coming to the next couple of emails thank you to each one of the uh contributors the subscribers so i'll begin with sarita sahu she is from dankanal odisha and uh, she's doing her graduation it's i'm not showing the screenshots of some of the emails and some of the comments here because some of them are very personal and they have asked me to not share the confidential part so i don't want to share the screenshot and if i crop it it's going to lose its clarity so i'm not going to do that but some of them definitely i'll show and um, she's telling that i'm really sorry for my vocabulary my grammar you don't have to be sorry okay you're at least using language for a very good purpose it's okay sarita you're very good in the way you express and um, her question is in how many days can i speak english see i've spoken about this particular point this is not a medical treatment or a kind of strict procedure that we follow with everybody it varies from person to person even medical treatments vary so uh you can definitely learn english there'll be progress if you work consistently definitely there'll be progress in how many days that's in your hands if you have a trainer it becomes very easier uh it becomes easier and also you will find it easy to work with the methods because the trainer the mentor or the teacher is giving you all the methods but otherwise self learning also works because that is where you analyze you have the trial and error method and you'll find out the different ways in which you can really work with the language so that's in your hands if you work consistently definitely there'll be progress and i have seen from my experience that people who work consistently develop faster you don't have to be worried about the pace you just have to be worried about the purpose okay i'm going to the next one mr ruby kumar um he has expressed his uh, concern and he says uh, to create videos on let and get and to be definitely i'll be doing that but i would like to tell you that um uh, when i make videos on grammar portions i'll be doing it from a context i'll be using a context because whenever you study a grammar portion when you learn something from the grammar area you cannot do it separately 
okay it is a part of language it is just one particular area that is not the only important portion also i've mentioned about this in many of my videos i know it's a repetition but still sometimes repetition is required okay uh, and also he asks about the strength and weakness how to express the strength and weakness when it comes to interview i did a, a video on interview it's there now definitely most of the interview panels will ask you about your strength and that's a kind of way in which they get to know about you but some interview panels when it comes to mock interviews and specific exam types they will ask you about your weakness they they may not use this word weakness they may ask you how will you work on your flaws how are you going to work on your strengths and make you a better person that's how they are going to put it forth Uh, so you can speak about your strength you'll be in your fuller sense when you speak about your strength but at the same time you should moderately balance the conversation the uh, speaking style when you speak about your weakness saying that yeah i have to work on these areas but i feel that makes me a better person because it helps me to uh, work on my strengths so when you know your weakness you'll be able to concentrate on your strengths at the same time work on different areas and evolve as a better person so put it in a moderately balanced manner okay the next person is deepak kumar sharma okay this came as a comment so i thought of including it here He asked me about the role that I like the most. Is it the role of a mother, sister, daughter? I had posted a video on Women's Day, and um, there I speak about a lot of points. I speak about feminism, menopause. Okay. Anyway, so uh, Deepak actually, uh, the role of a mother, the role of a sister, the role of a daughter. Each of these roles make me a complete person. a complete individual a complete woman so i think every role has made me or transformed me um, into a better person so i am also evolving both as an individual and as a person so i think every role plays a very important um portion in my life it has been teaching me a lot of things it makes me a complete author a writer and also above all an individual okay the next person is subhash biswas from ahmedabad yeah he has asked about toxic positivity what is toxic positivity please do a video on this topic definitely so as i told you in the beginning toxic positivity is not something that uh, that will really help in your life it's dangerous than negativity okay when you dispense your thoughts when you dismiss the thoughts of others when you're not able to identify with your thoughts when you feel angry or embarrassed for voicing your opinion uh when you also feel that everything is going to be okay you can be optimistic about life you can have lot of hope when you are facing challenges but you cannot dismiss uh areas and phases where you have to take action suppose somebody abuses you suppose somebody beats you you cannot say ah nice beat me i'm going to be positive about this so there are certain places where you have to take action okay that is positivity where you are able to tackle and deal with the Uh, area that particular area that particular portion of life some people fall down even if you face depression and anxiety it's okay but you should be able to rise up with more energy you should be a different a uh, transformed person even if you haven't transformed it's okay you should have learned something from that area of your life that is actually positivity toxic positivity will definitely put you down in the course of time because one day you will realize that your intuition your gut feeling everything was telling you to not do it or this is not right you dismiss it you dismiss the thoughts and feelings of others and finally you end up depressed forever okay so i'll be doing a video on that but this is the um you know the underlying idea of toxic positivity which is quite dangerous than negativity and people are speaking about this at length the next email is from preeti agarwal she is a student and is located in delhi please do more book reviews include book suggestions definitely and um she also speaks about the term bookworm okay let me tell you in the positive way it's good when someone calls you a bookworm uh but Uh, some people go to the extent of saying that you only read books like i have seen lot of book vloggers facing this problem they speak only on books uh 
Uh, but at the same time, there are people who say that uh, books don't teach you anything. You don't have to be in the fantasy world. I've done a video on reading itself where I say that you don't have to necessarily criticize people saying that why do you have to read and you're always lost within the pages of a book. It's good to get lost within the pages of the book because books give you wisdom. And why do you think all these leaders are stressing and emphasizing on reading? Dr. APG Abdul Kalam, one of the greatest personalities that we have seen. Dr. Shashi Tharoor, who is known for his language and for his uh, political ideas and beliefs, his ideology. Everybody asks you to, all people ask you to read because reading gives you not only knowledge but wisdom. So reading is not something that gets you glued to only books and uh, who do not have practical knowledge. It will help you to look at life in a better way. So it's okay. It's absolutely okay, Preeti. You can be a bookworm but I'll do uh, more videos on book suggestions and book reviews. I've got a couple of books. By the way, thanks for suggesting a lot of books. Okay, I've got a couple of them. I'll be doing that. Then the next person is Rekha Lokesh from Tamil Nadu. She's an entrepreneur. Okay, I experience fear of speaking in Hindi and English. How to overcome this? Both Hindi and English? Okay, Rekha, I think you have, mi you have missed out on these two videos. Okay, both the videos because I've spoken about the fear of speaking in any language, uh, the fear of articulating and also fear of speaking in English. Why we associate confidence only with uh, uh, English or a foreign language and not with the mother tongue. So please watch those videos because there are a lot of guidelines there. You can really work on it. Nothing to worry. Everything is going to be okay. Like uh, if you've got the fear of speaking, it's okay. You've identified the problem, work on it. And one day you will gradually, you will see how you are working on it. There are a lot of strategies that you can make use of. I've put that down in most of the videos. By the way, read the video description. It's very important. Okay. Um, not only to Rekha, but to everybody listening to me. Next email is from Raj Singh, Haryana. He's into business. People make fun of me while speaking in English. What to do? Let them make fun. It's okay. <laughs> there should be someone to make fun of you, but take it up as a challenge and keep working. You know why you're speaking in English or you know why you're learning a particular language, whether it's Spanish, English or German or Urdu, whatever it is. Uh, there is a purpose in life. And there is always a greater vision that people will always have in life, targets, objectives, even if it doesn't work, it is always there. So compared to the other people who don't have vision, who don't have objectives in life, you're much better. See, I mentioned about one email in the beginning of this video. Some people don't have any purpose of opening their mouth. So it's like, it's okay, let them criticize. When they criticize, you grow. That's all right so you cannot expect everyone to like you you cannot expect everyone to always follow your views uh, it's okay like you cannot impose things on others people who are ready to follow will follow people who are ready to learn a language will do that otherwise it's okay you can live the way you want who's going to ask you right just be true to your conscience that's all then the universe will conspire for your aspirations the next email is from Manjula Venkatesh. This is also a comment because she has commented for two of my videos. How to contact you, ma'am? This is the reason why I give my email ID in most of my videos because some of them miss out on the videos. It's not their problem. Uh, some of them will take time to go through each and every uh, video and find out more about uh, what the person is trying to convey. So all those things are there. And uh, I have seen a lot of people in the sense I've come across people watching each and every video one by one. I know that when they comment on the video. So my email ID is here, Manjula. You don't have to worry. You can send in your query and get to know more about the training sessions or whatever you want to inquire about. I got three more emails from three different um, IDs and they have inquired about the training sessions. Jibin George, uh, Sukesh and uh, also Preeti. Okay, so the first one was from Preeti Agarwal and this is from Preeti Sharma. So I'm not going to discuss those things because I've already replied to them. So thank you so much for staying with me. So reminding you, it's not about the individual response, but it's all about um, how people take things, how people take things forward in life and uh, also the attitude that we have to do away with. Okay? Bye-bye. Stay positive again.